What the fuck? Hey guys, what's up? It's the Minecraft Sauce here doing part two of this tutorial. In the last tutorial, go watch it um, if you haven't. Uh, we did this text here and we did this background. It looks pretty cool. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add a reflective kind of base, white base to it. Cool. And uh, we're going to add maybe your character if you want. Uh, that's an option. We'll, we'll show you how to do that. And um, a Minecraft block will have it fall from the sky and smash into pieces and it will have a uh, different material on the inside maybe diamond and uh, yeah so let's see how this turns out uh, but first we've got um this here blender minecraft rig um, it actually has a bunch of blocks I'm pretty sure I don't know no I don't think so yeah it does here we go a var variety of blocks this is only what we want to use it for and then we have this blender 1.1 model I'm just gonna cheat a bit cuz I uh, just for you guys because I don't want to supply a download link I have a rig it's better than this but you know it has my facial expressions and it won't work with everyone's skins so but this will and uh, I'll download this and show you how to change the skin on it so uh, let's start off with this download the model uh, Minecraft player let's see what it is yes so let's let's drag this to our desktop here we go this is my desktop <laughs> And then, um, here we go. Blender. So let's escape. I'm going to change the samples back to 5. And what we want to do to import this model is go File, Append, and then go to wherever you saved it. I saved it on the desktop. Minecraft Player. And then we're going to go into Object, um, Player, and Player Armature. And then Link Append. And as we can see, We've got the player. It looks a little big, so we're just gonna press S and then hold Control, size it down. Let's have it standing on top of the text. Actually, let's have it standing behind the text. Okay, so R Z ninety. All right, let's bring this back. And there's our armature for now, or our player. And now. Uh, if your cursor isn't centered, uh, just press Control C. Uh, no, Shift C, and it'll center it. So press Space, Add, Plane, Enter, S10, and there we go. There's our there's our plane. Uh, so now our character has something to stand on, sort of. Whoops. Make sure you uh, hold Shift, right click both of the things to move the armature. There we go. So if you render this, uh, we've got Minecraft Steve, our text, but we don't really want this skin here. It's got a black head. So what we want to do is on the object here, let's go into the texture tab, which is next to the material tab, and click this ball here, and we've got this skin. Um, so we obviously want to change this. So all you need to do is uh, X, and then open and then find your skin so I'm gonna find my skin here we go and let's just press F12 and our head seems to be missing uh, which is kinda strange let's just press escape there we go so what this is doing actually right now is this this black block here on top of your head is for if you have a hat um, it is I'm pretty sure two different objects cube so you have to go into edit mode so by pressing tab with the object selected I'm just gonna grab it so like I've got the cube selected grab it there and then I'm gonna press delete and then vertices and then there we go I can now see my head um, the disadvantage of that is if you have a skin with like glasses that aren't actually on the skin it's gonna cause problems but uh, as you can see there there's my minecraft player so why don't we uh, move his arm so um, to do that just right click the actual armchair here and press tab no control tab 
control tab there we go and then we can just click this and then we can just move it around so we can grab it actually we can only rotate it we can move this around and then I'm gonna move this rotate it rotate 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 F12, let's see what he looks like. Probably pretty derpy. You can have your Minecraft player fly around, right? Um, I'm just going to get into keyframes now. So, to keyframe your player, to make him move, uh, you just got to press B. Alright, so down here, make sure you're on frame 0. Press B to box select and select all the. Uh, what is that? <laughs> Someone had a dirty mind. Um, Alright, so this will be frame 1, so just press I, location, rotation, scale, and then go ahead like 10 frames, and then change his movement. Let's grab this. Whoops. Grab this. Rotate. 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 I'm just going to do a bunch of rotating. Whoops. Rotate. <laughs> rotate, rotate. Okay, so now we're on frame 10. Make sure you're on frame 10 before you do the uh, rotating. Then press B, and then press I, location, rotation, scale. So let's see how this goes. And then let's go ahead another fr uh, 20 frames, and let's rotate them this way, this way. Whoops. Make sure you only select the bones, not the body, because the bones control his body. Alright. I, location, rotation, scale. So that wasn't actually on frame 20, but it was close. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so um, that's, that's it for keyframes. Uh, that's how you can easily modify your character. Now, um, the last thing I'm going to do uh, before the end of this tutorial, because I'm running out of time here, is make the, the, the plane shiny. So let's go ahead, add a material, new, and let's make it as white as we can. So turn it all up, the white color, and then change in te intensity to, to 1. And then down here, check mirror, uh, and then change reflective to 0.4 and change max depth to 2. Alright, now let's see how this looks. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. You can see the reflectivity on the plane of the text and somewhat of the sky, not too much. But uh, yeah, that's really, really nice. I think it looks really, really awesome. So, uh... Uh, don't forget to watch part two. <laughs> um, in my next tutorial, I'll have a cube drop and break into diamond. And I don't know. Let's see how it goes. So um, see you then.